tuketi tuketi asubuhi ya leo ningependa kunena juu ya mambo matatu yanayokuwezesha kukaa katika uh, uwepo wa Mungu mambo matatu tukae huko mbele zote um, mambo matatu yanayo sababisha ukae ukiwa na utukufu ama uwepo wa Mungu. Sawa sawa. Mambo matatu. Kwa dakika chache. Ah, naliyajua ya kwamba tutabarikiwa. Na tunaanza kwa kusoma katika Mariko mtakatifu sura yake Mariko mtakatifu sura yake uh, ya kwanza mstari wa 35. Mariko mtakatifu Mark chapter 1 and verse 35 you can read for us kindly mark chapter 1 and verse 35 yes yes mark chapter 1 and verse 35 Mark chapter 1 and verse 35 Mark chapter 1 and verse 35 and I believe that uh, when God begins to do things in your life he will do things that are always a blessing to your life yes Are you there? Okay, Mark chapter 1 and verse 35. The Bible says, Mark chapter 1 and verse 35. This is what the Bible says. Mark chapter 1 and verse 35. This is what the Bible says. It says, And in the morning, rising early, rising up a great while before day, He went out and departed into a solitary place and there prayed. He rose up high and went to a solitary place and there he prayed. And there he prayed. Ah, uh, now this is very important that if you will stay and be blessed of God you should learn this character this virtue that rising up early in the morning to call and seek the Lord to call and have fellowship with God uwe na ushirika na Mungu wako kabla ya kuwa na ushirika na wanadamu unaamka mapema wakati kavyo inaisha unakuwa tayari kuwa na ushirika na muumba wako kabla ya kuwa na ushirika na watoto wako kabla ya kuwa na ushirika na wafanyikazi kabla ya kuwa na ushirika na watu walio karibu na wewe jambo la kwanza katika maisha yako sio kupungua simu na kuangalia wale wamekutumia message ni kuangalia pingu inatafuta nini kwako kujua mpingu ina maana gani siku ya leo kujua mpingu inataka nini unamtafuta Mungu mapema unamtafuta Mungu kabla mapamba suko Unamtafuta Mungu wakati wa baraka. Angalia katika Genesis chapter number 22, Genesis chapter number 22. Kwa hivyo jambo la kwanza nimesema ni kumtafuta Mungu mapema. Seeking God very early. Seeking God very early. That is a first virtue for you to stay with God's presence. Sio kutafuta Mungu kila wakati lakini kuamka mapema. Na ni sababu gani inasababisha kusiamka mapema kwa wingi? 
ni kwa sababu tunashinda tunakaa na watu tunakaa kwa mitandao tunakaa kwa kazi ambazo hazina maana mpaka hatuna usingizi wa kutosha chochote ambacho akina faida wachana nacho wakati unafaa lala wakati unafaa amka mapema utavuta Mungu Sema amen. Amen. Amka mapema utavuta Mungu. Amka mapema. Amka mapema. Ela ukatafute Mungu. Amka mapema. Hakikisha umepanda siku yako. Kama ni usiku, lala saa tatu ama saa ile amka saa tisa ama saa kumi tafuta Mungu kabla ya kuanza mazungumzo na mke wako kabla ya kuanza mazungumzo na watoto wako kabla ya kuanza mazungumzo ya kazi yako zungumza na Mungu aliyekuumba kabla ya maisha mengine jisungulishe na Mungu hao watu wanatazama kwa mtandao wengi wao wanatengeneza hela ukiwaangalia unakatwa data hiyo ni hela lakini ungetafuta Mungu hata wewe ungekuwa unatafutwa Genesis chapter 22 msali wa kwanza kwa mapili sijui kama umepata Genesis chapter 22 na wifi iko sawa Genesis chapter 22 and verse 1 Tusomee Tusomee sijui nani amepata Tusomee Genesis chapter 22 and verse 1 and 2 yes Some times later God tested Abraham. He said to him, Abraham. He said, "Here I am." Then God said, "Then God said, Take your son. Take your son. You are only son. You are only son. Who you love? Whom you love? Isaac. And Isaac, yes. And go to the region of Moriah. Yes.
kwanza jambo la pili inaitwa utiifu obedience total obedience mungu aweshi akatembea na wewe kama uko na shaka kwa mambo yake mungu hana haja na watu wanaomuuliza maswali angalia jeremia alilizwa na mungu Je, ni jambo gani ngumu kweli? Nisiloweza kulitenda. Na sio yeye peke yake. Hata Musa akaulizwa na Mungu, mimi ndiye nimeumba miili yote. Je, ni jambo gani lililo gumu kutenda? Na kumbuka Mkristo mmoja ambaye alitendesa kwa cliff. Cliff mali kwa mbuni akateremka kwa hiyo jiwe alafu alikuwa anachua umbali inapoenda kwa bahati mzuri akashikilia nyasi aliposhikilia nyasi ile nyasi ikaanza kumoka akaomba Mungu akamuuliza nitafanyaje Mungu akamwambia njiachi ile Jamaa akanishikilia nyasi. Na nyasi inaendelea kudondoka. Na Mungu anamwambia nishikilie, nijiachilie. Badala ya kujiachilia, anashikilia nyasi zaidi. Ile nyasi ikamoka. Kumbe alikuwa anabakisha futi moja akanyage chini. Mungu anaona chini. Jamaa anaona baadhi ametoka. Mungu anajua kesho yako na maisha yako. Akikwambia baada jambo fulani anakuelewa kuliko watu wote. Unastahili kumtii bila maswali. Watu wengi leo wanateseka kwa sababu Mungu alinena na wao na hawakutii. Sauli alileta kondoo na akaleta vitu vinono akaulizwa na hiyo sauti ninasikia ni mimi akasema watu niliokuwa nao waliniambia nileta hizi vitu ni mtolee bwana sadaka ni mtolee bwana dhabiu akamwambia kutii ni bora kuliko dhabiu mnono akamwambia kutii ni bora na akamwambia kutotii ni sawa sawa na dhambi ya uchawi ni watu wangapi wametenda uchawi? Mungu anaponena nawe, ananena nawe peke yake. Nilipokuwa naitwa na Mungu. Mkewana aliambiwa na mama mzazi. Akaambiwa tafadhali usikubali mume wako akuwe mumbi. Sasa mke wangu sio yeye aliyeitwa, ni mimi niliitwa. Na nikakatalia kwa walimu kwa sababu mama mzazi hataki na mke wangu hataki Mungu akaniambia kwa sababu unakatalia kwa masomo kwa sababu unasikia watu na wewe nitakuua nikaambia Mungu imetosha nikaenda nyumbani nikaambia mke wangu chagua mama mawili ukae ukiwa mjane na niendelee kufunza ama niachane na kuwa mwalimu na nitii Mungu hakunijibu tangu siku hiyo mpaka leo nikaingia kwa kazi ya Mungu baada ya kumamana nimeanza kutokea na bado Mungu yuko pamoja nami kutii ni bora kuliko vitu vingi amen na jambo la tatu inaitwa utakatifu holiness you will never see god if you are not holy Hautawahi kuona Mungu kama wewe si mtakatifu. Kuna tofauti ya mtakatifu na mwenye haki. Haya ni mambo mawili. Mwenye haki ni yule ambaye ahesabiwi makosa. Lakini mtakatifu ni yule ambaye ni msafi ndani. Utakatifu ni kukaa bila uovu ni kukaa bila thambi ni kukaa bila uchafu ni kukaa bila kuchafuka hiyo ndiyo inaitwa utakatifu wa Ibrania sura sura ya 12 na mstari wa 15 wa Ibrania chapter 12 Hebrew chapter 12 verse 15 na nimesoma wa Ibrania sura ya 12 pale mstari wa 15 
ama tuanze 14 yes Hebrews 12 and verse 14 yes Okay, 14, verse 14, I mean 14, yes? Make effort to live with peace with everyone and to be holy. Without holiness, no one will see God. Ukika miaka miyambi to miyambi. Now when the channel, I am a Ukiwa tajiri mkubwa na wewe jehanamu haina maana usinida gari Abraham alikuwa tajiri Ayubu alikuwa tajiri na akina watu wengine wa melenu walikuwa matajiri lakini walisuhudiwa juu ya kuwa matajiri walikaa katika utakatifu kuna maskini waliokuwa watakatifu Lazaro alimwona Mungu maana huyu tajiri anasema oh tuma Lazaro ninamwona hapo kwa kifua cha Abraham Lazaro alikuwa ameona Mungu kumaanisha kwamba hata maskini anaweza kuwa mtakatifu hata tajiri anaweza kuwa mtakatifu hata mtu wa katikati anaweza kuwa mtakatifu utakatifu si kipawa chambua kuwa mtakatifu hii maisha ya utakatifu na utamuona Mungu na Mungu akipendezwa na wewe anakupea uwezo wake utembee pamoja na wewe amen kwa leo tupike hapo na tupatane kesho saa kumi na moja asubuhi katika ibada katika neno la Mungu hapa hapa Kingly season business church kitui BLI estate Mungu awabariki awatendeema in Jesus name simameni